Hello there, buddy. I'm Mr. GamePie, and welcome back to the Robot Master Miracle Run. Last time we fought Clown Man, and today we're gonna fight Frost Man, who has a really rocking theme. I love this baseline. Yeah, now we have quite a few special weapons, and with that, I have actually bought an upgrade from the store. Let's take a look at it. We have weapon, item. Now, as you can see, we have Rush, and this is a this is a thing. We have a Power Shot, and there are several other Charge Shots that you can unlock. But what we got is the Energy Balancer. The weapon with the least amount of energy remaining will automatically be filled when you get an Energy Icon. Now, to note, this only applies whenever the current weapon you have has maximum energy, or if you're currently using the Mega Buster. Otherwise, if you're using a weapon, and it doesn't have maximum energy, then it's the weapon that you have equipped that will get the energy. Still, it's one of the weapons that I like to grab. Or, well, one of the items that I like to grab. Speaking of weapons that I like to grab, let's take a look at Thunderclaw! Check that out. It's a nice little spacing weapon, I'd say, and it has a lot of weapon energy. Seriously, look at that. That's like over 30 shots. You don't need that much. But you have that much, and that's awesome. But we don't actually want it for this part. Alright, so another gimmick of this game, the snowboarding sections. The ones found in Frostman stage aren't that bad, they're generally pretty cool. Get it? They're cool. But, this isn't the only level with them. In fact, the first Wily stage of this game has one. And it's terrible. Like, I mean, it's really terrible. It's the very beginning of the Wily stages, too, so... Basically, it's a reason why a lot of people don't like this game, I'd say. And I didn't get to the jump. Okay. Okay! That's nice. Ready. Wonderful! Yeah, let's just, uh... I don't know if I'll actually cut this out, because this is actually still pretty short. But yeah, look at all these penguins. They're doing penguin things. Yeah, essentially, to get all the bolts in this section, the way that you need to do it is by doing things that the little person saying, jump, jump, slide, slide, isn't telling you to do. At specific points. It can be pretty intense. Also, that'll kill you. You know, spikes. So, you want to avoid those. Alright, now we're speeding up. Gotta speed up, guys! Ah, no, that, that was the one where you didn't need to jump. Ah, uh, oh well. I missed one. It'll be okay. There are all there are power-ups in the snow at times. And now if I die and I get a game over, it doesn't matter, because if you reach one of these points where it that does the split in the level, it well getting a game over will just send you right back here. It's no problem at all. Really, there's like no real punishment for getting a game over in this game. And I don't think that that's a bad thing, all things considered, because this is a pretty hard game. <laughs> Whoa. Don't do that game. It's not appropriate. Nope. Wait, what am I... Well, I can just... Boom. Technically, you're supposed to, like, you know, use the ice block and then jump on like that, but... Nah, I'm not feeling it. Uh, you can just use the Mega Ball. There's, there's no reason not to use the Mega Ball there. You start out with the thing. Bam! Check that out. I just tricked that out. And now, because of it, I get a bolt. It's beautiful. Let's do it again. Now let's do this! Thunderclaw is pretty powerful. Nope, that one. What we wanted. 
I'll just do this again. <laughs> that can severely destroy things. Seriously. Tornado hold, massively powerful. Now this area right here is where we need Astro Crush and Flame Sword. Seriously, we, we need both weapons to get everything in this area. That, that particular bolt to the left, that's a Flame Sword bolt. And the floor that we saw earlier that I was standing on for a while, that was an Astro Crush floor. But we don't have those weapons yet, so yeah. In fact, we can't get them, like, at all right now. These enemies don't hurt you, they just make clouds of smoke that are kind of annoying. Oh, I'm gonna keep using Thunderclaw. As a somewhat short-range weapon, Thunderclaw is powerful, and it has a lot of ammo, and it's a good time. Plus, it isn't totally short-range, so it's not, it's not like you're gonna run out of it, or have to be, like, spacing and everything perfectly. Unlike something like, say, Slash Claw or Flame Sword. Speaking of Slash Claw and Flame Sword, I was kind of hoping that Thunder Claw would be Mega Man's grab animation in Smash Brothers. He would have like a tag of the grab and it would be cool. That said, Super Arm is a pretty good grab for him to have, so I'm not exactly disappointed or anything. And now we have Frostman, and wait, no, I don't have his weakness yet. His weakness is the Flash Bomb, and that's not something that I have. So it looks like we'll just have to do this instead. Other than the Flash Bomb, uh, Frostman is actually weak to the Flame Sword, but uh, we, we can't have that at this point in the game. Like, Flash Bomb, that's a weapon that, technically speaking, we could totally have right now if we went in a different order. But, uh, Flame Sword, not so much. Oh. Dang. Thanks, Frostman. That said, Frostman is exactly a difficult boss to fight. Just slide onto this. Okay, or don't. Oh man, it's the Ice Wave! Shooting Frostman with- oh my gosh, seriously? Shooting Frostman with the Flash Bomb while he is summoning the Ice Wave will actually cause him to be blinded by the shot. And it's a pretty good thing to do. But it doesn't matter because Frostman is dead. And from that, we get the Ice Wave, our ground-based weapon of the game. Yeah! I like Ice Wave, actually. It's pretty cool. Get it? It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I made a, made, a, made a joke there. Anyway, next time we're gonna be fighting Grenade Man and unleashing Clan B upon the general populace. See you then.